Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Dude here back again with some more Battlefield 3 info for you guys. And this time I'm going to be talking to you guys about some new info about the Armored Kill DLC, along with details on the motorbikes for the Endgame DLC. So yeah, let's get into it. One thing that we all know about the upcoming Armored Kill DLC is that the whole DLC is being heavily focused on vehicular combat along with new vehicles being introduced as well, such as new anti-aircraft vehicles, tank destroyers, and the vehicle that we are all waiting for, the AC-130 gunship. And in case you guys missed my last Battlefield 3 Armored Kill Info video, I'll put the link to that video below in the description box below. Because in that video, I gave a lot of detail about all of the vehicles in the Armored Kill DLC. Anyways. Some info I have here on the tank destroyers is that it carries a lot of firepower but trades speed for armor. So it has lots of firepower and speed but lacks plenty of armor. But the combination the tank destroyers have, which is firepower plus speed, is great because then they have the ability to bring their big guns to contested areas much faster than the regular tanks. Which, which provides your team with great mobility and area control. Now, for the mobile artillery, it is very slow. It's very slow and it's poorly protected. But if you can place it properly on a map, you can have the ability to suppress entire bases. So you can soften up a base from your perfect placement before moving in to capture it. Now, I have one more thing about the vehicles that I like to share with you all. But this time, it's about the AC-130 gunship. The AC-130 gun gunship, which I believe is going to be on all new maps, if not the most of them, is confirmed that if your team, it is confirmed that if your team has control over a specific base, it starts circling the battlefield, which your team now has access to. It has two gunner positions, as we all know, and your team can also use it as a mobile spawn point. And that's it for the vehicles. So uh, let's move on to something else that I think is really cool. I assume most of you viewers have heard of the new game mode being introduced called Tank Superiority. That's coming, which is coming in the in upcoming Armored Kill DLC. And if you haven't heard about it, then nah, that's okay. But well, anyways, DICE gameplay designer Nicholas Figreus said this about the new game mode, and I quote, Tank Superiority is a vehicle focused mode where a large number of heavy vehicles clash in order to control key areas. Later, he then said, and I quote again, It covers vast areas, so tactical positioning and precise, long-range firing are two very important skills players need to deploy to deploy in order to win. Unquote. So to me, I think it is going to be uh, somewhat the same as the game mode in Battlefield 1943, called Air Superiority. But in Tank Superiority, there's going to be more capture points, much like uh, how we play Conquest. And if any of you guys are unfamiliar with Battlefield 1943, then just search up Battlefield 1943 Air Superiority Gameplay. But I may have some Air Superiority Gameplay up on my channel in the future. But yeah. Lastly, let's move on to the motorbikes that are coming in the 5th DLC for Battlefield 3. And what I was able to gather up about the motorbikes is that they will, of course, be fast transport vehicles, but might offer something else as well. And this was said by Nicholas. That, yeah, the thing I just said about them being fast transport vehicles and might offer, might offer something else as well, that was said by Nicholas Figrius. But anyways, the, th the oh, sorry about this guy, but the sad news about the motorbikes is that you won't be able to perform tricks on them. Yeah, I know, that sucks. But I think that if anybody decides to put motorbikes in their game, then you gotta add the ability to, to perform tricks. <laughs> but yeah, I really just hope that DICE changes their mind about that. Because if they add the ability to, to perform stunts, then they will most likely be pleasing pretty much all of their customers who buy the endgame DLC. And plus, it will just be awesome and so much fun. And you could probably make some great Battlefield videos with that. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah. <laughs> 
thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed what I had to share with you, you found the info helpful and interesting, then I would gladly appreciate it if you take two seconds every time to click the like button. It helps a lot. And to subscribe if you haven't already, because I will be having plenty of more info videos in the future, along with other videos that I post regularly. So uh, until next time, guys. Bye.